Hey guys! So welcome to day two of our Raleigh, North Carolina adventure. Um, we came down here for two days to celebrate our anniversary and today is our actual nine year wedding anniversary. How do you feel about today being... Today is the day. <laughs> How do you feel about being married to both me and Lil Penny Lane for the past oh nine years? Oh my goodness, years? my life has just changed. For the better. It's changed. For the better. <laughs> Yes, for the better, of course. <laughs> well, Benny Lane and I, we've loved being married to you for these nine years. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but we've got more fun things planned here around Raleigh for today. We are actually getting ready to head out, and we're going to go to Drive Shack because when we went on our very first date about 11 and a half years ago, we went golfing. So we thought it would be fun. We've never been to like a Drive Shack or a Top Golf before, so we thought this would be a fun way to celebrate our anniversary since this is since our love first bloomed on the golf course all those years yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you guys there. explain what it is that we're doing here they have you can play like a golf course you can just do a driving range or they have different games that you can play and we are actually playing a blackjack game so basically the course is covered in um, cards sorry I'm watching to see what Ben's doing on the screen and basically we're seeing who can get the closest to 21 in each round um, so far we're three rounds in and I'm kind of convinced that a little bit there's five rounds together and yeah, and so Ben's finishing up his round right now. So as you can see, I got a perfect 21 in the last round. So the thing that I really like about this game is, or this blackjack game in particular, is it's a lot more than just like hitting the ball and seeing how far you can hit it. There's a lot of strategy because you can see the cards on the screen and how much they're worth. So then you kind of have to try to hit it to get the number of points that you need in the right length and direction. So it's a lot more than just hitting the ball. There's some strategy involved too. So it makes it really, really fun. All right. Uh, she beat me. <laughs> That game was a lot of fun. So we just finished playing blackjack and now we're gonna play this monster hunt game where we're gonna try to hit some monsters. I have no idea how this is gonna go. This is a lot of fun. Yeah.
was given. So I think the monster game is going to be Ben's game because I got six monsters and he got one but he still beat me because he can drive a lot further than me so he can get the ones that are worth more points. So I think this one's going to be his game. Alright, so Ben stomped me in the monster hunt game. Yeah. Stomped me. I cannot compete with him at all. Well I think it's just because you couldn't really, you couldn't get past the, no. was that 50 yards, 60, I'm under 100 yards? I'm not sure. but. Yeah, I've always been like, I've, we've both played golf since we were kids. Yeah. I haven't played a lot the past couple of years just with my health problems with my joints and my muscles. It's kind of hard for me to play anymore, but yeah. I mean, my entire life, I've never been able to drive the ball far. So if it's a game that involves who can drive the ball the furthest, he is going to beat me every single yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time though when you, we played uh, and you chipped the ball and I remember being very impressed because it almost hit me. Like I I was yeah. walking on the green and you were down in a little hill and I couldn't see you. Next thing I know, this ball comes flying up at me. Yeah, that was kind of funny. That was back when we were still dating and I don't think he thought I could hit the ball that far. So he was like, oh, I'll just go ahead and keep hitting my yeah. ball. And I almost took him out. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that just such a omen, an omen for our marriage? <laughs> it was a romantic day on the golf course. Yeah. Where a girl almost smacks you in the head with a golf ball. All right, so in addition to all the fun games that you can kind of play against each other in the driving range, they've also got actual golf courses loaded in here. So we are going to play a couple holes from St. Andrew's Golf Course. And Ben's probably going to beat me on these too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this first hole took me a little bit of time to get adjusted to. It's a little bit different because you're not looking at like the pin and the flag and where you're aiming for out on the course. You have to kind of look at the screen. Um, but one thing that Ben helped me figure out is you look at the screen and the different markers that are on the course, you can see them as well. So that gives you a frame of reference of where to aim at. So hopefully I'll do better on the second one because the first hole was kind of hard. Alright, so we played three holes of St. Andrews, and as we thought, Ben is way better than me. It's actually very much like real golf. I have to hit it like a hundred times until I get within chipping range, and then I can chip and putt pretty easy, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just not good at driving the ball at all. So we've got about 20 minutes left on our time before it's time to go, so I think we're just going to play a little bit more of the blackjack game because we're kind of getting tired, and then we're going to head out. You're tired and she wants to win again. <laughs> I want to win again, <laughs> yes. Alright. <laughs> So we just finished at Drive Shack. What did you think? That was so fun. Was really that was fun. a lot of fun. I could see you had like a birthday party or um, any type of just event or gathering with a few friends. Um, that is the place to go. Mm -hmm. You got the golf. Um, you can order pizza, burgers, hot dogs, whatever you want. Uh, obviously, we probably won't be able to do that, but uh, just it's just... with my food allergies. Yeah, with food allergies. I don't think they're very accommodating with that, but... Um, I, everyone else should have an issue finding some good food mm -hmm. and a good time. Yeah, and I thought it was cool too because even if you're not a golfer, because they have like all the games and stuff, I think it's really fun for everybody because I know not everybody enjoys golf. Um, and also, this was the teacher in me, but that I, we talked about that blackjack game being so much fun. But like the whole time, I was thinking, oh, this would be such a great game to play with kids because then you can ask them questions like, okay, what number do you need to get to 21? <laughs> and you can kind of have them adding and subtracting as they're playing. So 
Yeah, I think it's a cool place even to take kids and to have teaching moments, but definitely recommend doing it. But we are very sweaty and tired, so we're going to head back to our Airbnb, get cleaned up, and then we've got a really fun dinner planned this evening, and we'll take you guys along for that. All right, so we just got cleaned up, and now we are headed out to dinner. Uh, if you saw our day one of our Raleigh trip video, uh, last night we went to this amazing... Uh, kind of high-end Asian, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if high-end is the right word, but it was a little bit mm -hmm. fancier than just like Asian takeout. And tonight we're actually going to downtown Raleigh again, and we're going to eat at a place right next door to there that's kind of a nice sit-down Chinese restaurant. It looks like they put some interesting twist on Chinese food. They had a lot of gluten-free stuff on their menu, which if you watched the video yesterday, I said that's always exciting. It's really hard to find gluten-free Chinese food. So we are just gonna keep celebrating our anniversary, celebrating that our paperwork for our adoption went to China this week. Um, mm -hmm. And I feel like this is a good way to do it. Yeah, let's do it. another amazing meal here in downtown Raleigh. It was my favorite. <laughs> um, so this place was called Brewery Bahavana, I think. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, right in downtown Raleigh. One thing I'll say, if you come here, make sure that you make a reservation because um, we got here before five o'clock. It was like 10 to five when we got here mm -hmm. and they were completely booked for the night. So we ended up sitting at the bar because there were not any tables so make sure you book early if you want to come but the food was just really really good mm -hmm. i got the crab fried rice the presentation was amazing it came in this like egg crepe wrapped in a ball and there was just so much crab throughout they definitely didn't cheat you on the crab at all it was delicious mm -hmm. yeah i got the uh, general so's chicken and i forgot what what the uh, the ball bow balls things were, but I think it was like um, barbecue pork or something like that. Yeah. And it was so, so good. Like my favorite <laughs> of the past few days. I wish I could have ate the bao buns that he had. They looked so good, but like most places, they didn't have gluten-free bao buns, so I could not enjoy those. I did, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say we've had 
such an amazing two days here in Raleigh, just doing some really fun stuff, eating lots of really yummy food. That is important. Mm -hmm. Much needed, uh, much yeah. needed break. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Really, like, the end of June through August is such a busy time for curriculum developers. And so we've just been so incredibly busy, haven't had a day off in a couple weeks. And so this it was just so nice to come here for two and a half days, not think about any of that, and just have mm -hmm. time with you. I've enjoyed it so much. Yeah, it was fun. Dreading going home tomorrow and getting back into work, even though I love my work. It's, it's just been so nice to have a break. <laughs> Everybody needs a break. Yeah. So we're going to head back to the Airbnb. We're kind of going to get packed up and stuff, and then we'll be heading home early in the morning. So thanks for joining us on this anniversary trip, and hopefully we'll be able to share some more adventures with you guys soon.